viewers of the tube, thanks for tuning into the channel for an overdue underwater district update. It has been a while since I've one done some work in this area and even longer since I've done a video showcasing the work I've done in this area. So starting with one of the best mocks I ever have done the Silent Mary mock where I took the Silent Mary viewer recommendation embed it into the mountain as if it's fallen from the top of the ocean sank down to the bottom smashed and broke on the sea floor so I've taken the Silent Mary pulled it in half used up a bunch of burp, merp, lerp, all them great pieces to come up with the Silent Mary mock. I do have a video on this build alone. If that's something you're into, feel free to go back and check it out. And if so far this is something you're enjoying, please like, share, and subscribe. If you don't want to miss any more of these great videos, don't forget to ring that bell. I still need another one of these lights up top here so it can just showcase the Silent Mary on its own. A little bit of work filling this in and we got a whole lot of space. We could be adding coral reef projects, all kinds of little details shipwrecks, undersea krakens, sea creatures, sea monsters, all that good stuff. And yes, we can still expand the underwater base, which is looking pretty good. And it looks even better when all the lights are on. No, it does not have this cool effect, but you can see all the fantastic details when it is brightly lit up. We got a little bit of a geyser back there where they're harvesting some energy to power the underwater base. We got another little geyser back there. I've used four of these underwater exploration bases plus a whole bunch of extra parts. We got our underwater control tower. We'll call it control center. It's not really a tower. I've added a whole bunch of these clear tubes in between because it just looks awesome. So far this is kind of like the main hub all the subs are going to come and go from this area. A little bit of action again. This area has been kind of neglected after I got it going. My bad. A whole lot more room we could be adding more sea life and plant life to a whole lot of details. A little bit of an older set we built via live stream. This is our underwater repair bay. Nice big sub back there. I got a couple cubes. Pretty much I just made a wooden box or a wooden cube at work. I hot glued some base plates to it. I took a whole lot, I'm talking a whole lot of 1x2 trans clear dark blue tiles and I made these cubes. Nothing special, a little bit of detail and a whole lot of studs you can play around with. Again, add some more sea life, get some more angles, add some more depth, texture, which leads us to one of my favorite mocks of this area. And these will be getting expanded on, or I should say this should be getting expanded on. And it's gonna wrap around and then I'm going to take this kind of technique and I'm going to apply it all over. Same with the same technique I use for the Silent Mary, all the coral reef, all the knickknacks and doodads I'll call it. I'm going to 
apply it all over. We'll bury some of these columns or support poles and add a whole lot of detail. So I'm going to flick on the lights for a quick sec so we can see a little bit more of this area in greater detail. Lights, camera, action. There we go, coming back to the Silent Mary. It's looking quite a bit different. When we can shed some light on the situation. Just packed full of color, detail, and coral. I have gotten a comment about the burps and I guess the rock structure on its own being the wrong color or a little too dark and I am on the fence. Obviously I'm not going to change it but the Silent Mary is pretty dark and it does blend in a little bit with the dark rock. But that's okay because we'll say the dark rock, you know, it looks like it's wet. It looks like it's bottom of the ocean. The Silent Mary is supposed to be blended in pretty good. That's how you know I did a good job because all the growth grew around it. All the coral grew around it. The sea life moved in and blended the ship in with the rock. Coming back down this way, we can see all the wide open areas. The geysers. For the underwater base are a little bit more prevalent now. You can see a little bit more of the detail. A little bit better. This area is a whole lot of fun. It's right up there with Castle and Pirates because it just lets your imagination go. It reminds me of being kind of a kid again, exploring, coming up with your own little stories inside your head, inside your own imagination. Got Lord of Atlantis, keeping the waters tame or stirring up the crap, one of the two here with the light shining on it the coral reef looks a lot better now that we can see all the little details I mean there's everything in here from banana pieces to Ninjago movie helmets we got the studs stacked up we got like the little Asian hats or dinner plates. We got domes with minifigure heads and the purple flame pieces making up jellyfish. All kinds of little details. This is the underwater district in all its glory. Thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. Stay safe, have fun, hope to see you all in the next one.